In this session, we would be talking about issues that organizations like CBGA and other such organizations which are locating themselves in the landscape of governance, uh, the, those kinds of issues that we should be talking about, which we think are going to be more important uh, in the next decade. And uh, for this discussion, uh, we have requested Amitav Behar, Executive Director of National Foundation for India. Amitav is also one of the co-founders of CBGA. And when CBGA was established as an independent organization in 2005, he was also given the responsibility of being the first executive director. And Amitav has been guiding all of us since then. He continues to be on our board. So would request Amitav to please come on the dais now. I think we've all worked with immense passion, to borrow Subrat's phrase, with a lot of fire in our bellies. So we should certainly celebrate today. Uh, but I think given that we have uh, enhanced our fire in our bellies, we probably need to also have a serious discussion. I think this is a critical moment now to also help us locate CBGA in a broader context of the current governance landscape and the broader democratic uh, landscape of, of this country and also uh, globally. Uh, the changing narrative of democracies, I, I, I think it's very critical for us to understand, comprehend that and then start looking at how do we locate CBGA in the next uh, 10 years. But before I move ahead, many of us have already done that but I also wanted to add my voice of thanks to each and every one who has contributed immensely. I think it's, it's been a journey where I can easily name. I was one of those fortunate ones who has actually sat on both sides of, of, of the table. I was at Ford Foundation working on the basic design of how a, a center should be visualized. And then eventually when I came to NCAS, I had the responsibility of then uh, uh, of, of uh, establishing the center. Uh, but it's really been a remarkable journey, a collective vision of many people. But I would like to salute each and everyone who has contributed to the uh, budget movement in this country. And that starts from the Social Watch Tamil Nadu uh, to probably Rajasthan uh, to even Northeast. Uh, Northeast Network also tried in its own way of, of taking it ahead. So a big salute, uh, Salam, to everybody who has created this uh, uh, budget movement in the country. So uh, le let, let me just try and uh, identify some critical questions for this uh, uh, conversation. And uh, I would really say, uh, I want to borrow from what Vishnu was saying. Uh, Vishnu in some ways was saying uh, that budget work probably also would have certain limitations because we are working the way I was hearing Vishnu, uh, that the way we are looking at the budget work, it's still located in the current context of the way democracy is conceptualized today. Whereas democracy at the moment is going through a deep crisis where it's more of an oligarchic form of democracy which we see, and not just in India, across. Uh, I, I think that's, that's a big, big challenge for all of us, that if the form of democracy that we see is more of an oligarchy, how does budget work really deepen uh, citizens' engagement or people's empowerment? I think that's, that's the big question that we need to ask. So therefore, how do we uh, redefine our questions is going to be very, very critical. Maybe we've looked a lot at the state so far, Maybe we need to start looking much more at the corporate uh, and the private actors, maybe. So, so those are questions that I think are, are, are very critical. I do think that budget work is a very interesting manifestation of civil society innovation. And I, 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 let me explain what I'm saying. The first 40, 50 years of Indian democracy was extremely successful in expanding the base of democracy. So new social groups started becoming part of the democratic framework. But what we have certainly felt is that it was not deepened enough. And when you have not deepened it enough, what we were seeing was that democracy had become an exercise 
of voting once in five years. So that's certainly a moment of democracy, uh, the elections. But in between two elections, we all felt that democracy was really not thriving. And people then started identifying new ways of making democracy work. And I think 90s is that very interesting decade in terms of social, uh, uh, civil society innovations, social movement innovations, which started finding new ways of making democracy work on a daily basis. How do you convert a representative democracy, which is moving towards oligarchies, to a more deliberative, participatory democracy? I think that's, that was really the impulse for the civil, uh, civil society budget work the way I look at it. Budget has been, I think, uh, a very, very uh, important tool in that budget work. Uh, and I, I, at times, would say, as in Ravi would uh, completely agree with me, that looking at MKSS work as budget work is critical for our understanding of budget work. Budget work is not just about looking at allocations. Uh, it is also about uh, looking at uh, uh, the right to information. I think that's, that's very critical. So, the slogan was, our I think that embodies the spirit of, of budget work. So, let me just now try and identify, I already identified one big question in terms of the democratic architecture. I think that's, that's really a very critical question for me. Uh, democracy ko agar hume majboot banana hai aur imandar democracy banana hai to hume kya karna hoga wo bahut mahatvapurna hai but let me just ask three four other questions that i think are very very critical uh, first uh, let me start with a criticism i'm very fascinated by a study which uh, open society is now funding and i must tell you that open society over the last 15 years did invest significantly in furthering a lot of governance tools, which includes the public expenditure tracking system, the social audits, uh, the budget tracking, and so on. But now they're trying to do a study, trying to investigate that have we taken away the politics from these very fundamental governance questions? By making them tools, have we taken away the real transformative potential of, of the, the transaction that happens between people and, and state. Uh, and that's, that's a big question. I think in our budget work, what we heard in the last panel clearly tells us that at least as CBGA and the budget groups in India, we have, that's not been the intent. But I would really want us to maybe even ask uh, Mistri ji and, and uh, Vivek Bhai, Vivek Pandit, when they started budget work, they were starting from a very clear vantage point of organizing the Adivasis in, in, in the Adivasi Patti of Gujarat or around Thane uh, in uh, Maharashtra. Uh, so so th that they were using budget just as a tool to sharpen their struggles. So the big question of how do we ensure that the struggles, the people's struggles that are happening and the budget work we do are not running parallelly. And in fact, I would say uh, that the budget work we do ensures uh, that it is responding to the aspirations of these struggles. But how do we do that? I think that's, that's a, a, a big question uh, that I would want to ask. Uh, the, the, the second, which is a broader uh, civil society question, is uh, that a lot of budget work is premised on using research as a policy advocacy tool. Or otherwise, we want to use information as, again, a tool of, of advocacy, uh, by, whether through the media or through the legislature or through uh, other mechanisms. Uh, but I think the big question of organizing and mobilizing people in the current times is also very, very critical. Uh, so how do we ensure that there's a marriage between the two is, is a big question that's constantly coming back to me in terms of the uh, next year, 10 years of uh, our work. <coughs> and, and finally, uh, I think that ultimately, budget work is about speaking truth to power. 
but when we speak truth to power, and that's what we do, and I, I think we've done it fairly well with a lot of flair. Uh, we've been successful in doing that, but how does that change the power equation? And that's why I was talking about the organizing and mobilizing. Will it really change the power equation? And let me just close the loop by saying the, the fundamental question that I'm asking, that given the limitations that we see, the way democracy functions in today's world, do we really see a serious potential of transformation through budget work? So th those are big questions in my mind. On the other hand, and I keep talking about it globally, uh, that there is a narrative of, of anger, whether it was the Arab Spring, whether it's the Occupy movement, whether it's our Anna movement here, whether it's the anti-rape protest, there is a narrative of anger. And that is probably a, a response to the oligarchies that we are seeing. How does budget work add value and add that cut, cutting edge uh, to this anger uh, to change and transform the world? Thank you. तरफ से आप नाराज हैं या बीजेपी आपको नाराज कर रही है हर परिवार में अगर दो चार बार ऐसी बात होती है इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि नाराजगी अगर तथा कथित नाराजगी हो तो परमानेंट हो जाएगी अभी लीडर्स इस समय दर्पण दिखाने का काम कर रहे हैं यू आर आल्सो शोइंग दैट दर्पण यू आर सेइंग बट ऑल दीस पीपल आर गेटिंग साइडलाइन इन द पार्टी उफ ना करेंगे लव सी लेंगे आंसू पी लेंगे अमिताभ बच्चन इज हैज नॉट एक्नॉलेज्ड द काइंड ऑफ हेल्प एंड सपोर्ट which you gave him in the initial years ho gayi so ho gayi raat gayi baat gayi badnam hua subhash gayi watch to the point with actor politician shatrughan sinha only on rajya sabha television with us Dr Saida Hamid former member planning commission very well known women's rights activist and writer and Saida ji is very well known to all of us who are in this auditorium and Saida ji has also been guiding CBGA uh, and and uh, particularly during uh, her her tenure in the planning commission she has guided us a lot and uh, so we thought when we are uh, uh, doing something to mark 10 years 10 years of this organization we must request her to take out time and and we are very glad that ma'am you have kindly agreed to join us today main apni baatein sirf do baatein aapke samne rakhna chahti hu pehli baat jo main main kehna chahti hu ki jo governance ka shabd hai we must define it in its broadest terms i think it has to be taken away from a very technical sense to include what because of the times that we are living in and the kind of future scenario we see there may be a it may be it may change but in terms of the likelihood i think what we need to look at it is in in a in a very broad way what is the state of democracy secularism social justice and how can we take how can we not look at governance from the lenses of democracy secularism and social justice i think uh, 
Amitabh referred to Vishnu when he talked about how oligarchies are leading to immense anger across the world. I think that, if I understood it. Uh, this anger that one sees across the world, I think we cannot now look at our region separately, because we are very much a part of what is going on all across the world. And a lot, and, and, the, and the issue which is, which is squarely staring us in the face is, and the anger we see it erupting, and uh, Amitabh gave several examples of everywhere in the world where you see people out on the streets, and the anger, is, uh, anger has become a very palpable uh, event to, which stuns us and staggers us. How can that, where can we, what direction can we give to that anger so that something positive comes out of it? When it's so dark in the whole world, and we are not different from the world, we are the same part of the world. How can we not think of governance through these kinds of global events? And I think, you know, I have always, uh, for the last 10 years, I worked uh, within a very defined frame of government. There were, I was a split personality in those 10 years, because my entire work सिविल सोसाइटी के साथ था मेरा मन वहीं था मेरे लॉयल्टीज वहीं थीं पर मुझे गवर्नमेंट की सब वोकेबुलरी सीखनी पड़ी सो दैट आई कुड बिकम अ ब्रिज बिटवीन द सिविल सोसाइटी एंड द गवर्नमेंट आई आई ट्राइड टू ओपन डोर्स आई ट्राइड टू मेक गवर्नमेंट अंडरस्टैंड फॉर एग्जांपल जस्ट इफ इफ सिंस आई you know, trying to com communicate and convey to them. And what uh, Amitabh talked about, this great, this great movement of civil society and the civil society participation in governance, which arose in the 90s. And I was not always successful. But at some point, I used to feel, I am successful because suddenly they used to realize there is a force there. And then that, that could even be physically a bunch of my friends standing at the gate, you know, trying to enter the Yojana Bhavan, and the whole police force coming out, and me, you know, uh, uh, sitting within those office spaces, wanting to go out and reach, and, and then there are marshals, and there are all kinds of impediments to my reaching out. I could have been just as well out there. So I think that, that kind of an engagement I tried to do, and it was, I did try to create some spaces where this meeting could take place. And one was a civil society window created. I don't know if it exists or not. Because this is a long story. But in the civil society window, where anyone could come from the road, and make a small group, and make a small group, view, as long as it made sense, could communicate their view to the highest plan, planning body of the country. That was a civil society window. Bahut mushkil se persuade kiya. You found, found champions, you gently persuaded them, they came on board, and then you realize this was a very effective instrument to get, say, for example, if there was something happening in, in Mizoram or Meghalaya or Nagaland, these are areas which we don't even think of. Then there was one forum in which people from those regions, often forgotten and marginalized, could express their views on Andaman or Nicobar or Lakshadweep. All of these small, this is what the definition of democracy was, as far as what my understanding was. So I think that in, in that context, I, I want to, uh, having said that and having, having made a plea for understanding governance in its widest possible context, हमने एक जो काम किया था प्लानिंग कमीशन में उसमें एक एक जेंडर डीपनिंग अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ जेंडर विद इन द बजट सो दैट वाज समथिंग वी रियलाइज कि बजट्स बनते हैं और उसमें जेंडर ब्लाइंडनेस होती है तो उसको उसमें कैसे गहराई लाई जाए तो उसके लिए फिर हमने एक 
कॉन्सेप्ट बनाया था वो भी मैन इट वॉज नॉट माई ब्रेन चाइल्ड इट वॉज द ब्रेन चाइल्ड ऑफ ऑफ माई कॉलीग्स फ्राम द सिविल सोसाइटी हु सेट क्रिएट अ कमिटी ऑफ फेमिनिस्ट इकोनमिस्ट दे कैन बी मैन एंड वीमेन इट डजेंट फेमिनिस्ट इकोनमिस्ट डजेंट मीन दैट इट शुड ओनली बी वीमेन हु विल सी के जेंडर जो है वो बजट में जेंडर के लिए हर सेक्टर में क्या क्या प्रोविजन है सो दे वॉज अ अ कमिटी ऑफ फेमिनिस्ट इकोनमिस्ट जिन्होंने बजट बनने से पहले वेन द चैप्टर्स वर इन अ ड्राफ्ट फॉर्म दे वर एबल दे लुकड एट आई मीन अगेन नॉट अ हंड्रेड इट वॉज नॉट अ हंड्रेड परसेंट सक्सेसफुल नॉट इवन फिफ्टी परसेंट सक्सेसफुल बट एट लीस्ट अ बिगिनिंग हैड बीन मेड कि उसमें यह देखा जाए कि जेंडर के लिए क्या प्रोविजन है वेद इट्स एनवायरमेंट इट्स पंचायती राज इट्स साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इट्स फूड वेर वॉट वॉट इज द वेर इज द जेंडर लेंस इन ऑल दिस एंड आई लर्न दैट फ्राम पीपल लाइक मृदुल ईपन from from ritu from uh, my friend manisha bell from yamini these are people who who brought me by hand and explained that and and inakshi is sitting here shanta sinha you know uh, children and women the lens of women and children budget has to be looked through that what i want to share with you is that ek humne ye chaha ki is budget ki itni deep understanding ho कि अगर उसमें हम कोई बात डालें तो इट शुड बिकम अ पब्लिक कंसर्न टू इंश्योर दैट कोई जो वायदा किया गया है जो वादा ना तोड़ो एक अभियान जो है था और है तो उस जो वायदा किया गया था उस वायदे पे पूरा तो उतरना चाहिए अगर एलोकेशन का वायदा किया गया था टू डू अ सर्टन थिंग अ सर्टन पब्लिक अकाउंटेबिलिटी स्कीम और अ पब्लिक अकाउंटेबिलिटी प्रॉमिस उसकी फुलफिलमेंट कहाँ है so there is has to be a budget component in it and if there is a budget component hidden somewhere in the budget document then to ensure that that actually sees the light of day wo nikal ke to aaye budget ke budget ke pages mein se unke warak mein se unke panno mein se nikal ke asliyat ki taraf to aaye to ye hamara ye ek hamari koshish thi magar isme ek aur aspect jod jodna main chahti hu aur wo ye hai that this understanding has to permeate all the way down where women actually are on the ground that is at the panchayat level at the zila parishad level at on the women who are on uh, who are members of the school the development committees of the panchayat for schools for health health workers women who are and women specially women because women would be able to then apply their minds to all those details that are all hidden away there otherwise it's just a bunch of words that are written and that are filed away so when i used to meet uh, uh, groups during the budget process and after that i used to always tell them that these nuggets are hidden within the pages please take them out and please take them and and hold them accountable after all big changes have and and big movements have led to very important policy uh, interventions and very important policy decisions right to education right to information we can keep on counting so public opinion then matters whether the public opinion is log aapke yojana bhavan ke gate pe khade hue hain and they want to enter that force of public opinion CBGA has that potential to garner that kind of force so i think this is uh, you know whatever from whatever little experience that i can call from my uh, work in the sector i would say that this really is the road map and this is where there are many ways that have been suggested by praveen but i think this these two things one broadening उसको गवर्नेंस को ब्रॉडन करके और दुनिया में जो इस वक्त खलबली मची हुई है जो आग लगी हुई है उसको प्लीज टेक दैट इन टू इन टू योर कंसर्न एंड एंड रिफ्लेक्ट इट इन योर वर्क एज फार एज गवर्नेंस इज कंसर्न एंड द सेकंड थिंग बीइंग दैट यू नो द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ ब्रिंगिंग द कॉन्शियसनेस ऑफ बजट्स द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ बजट्स द एनालिस ऑफ बजट्स इसको बिल्कुल नीचे के लेवल तक जहाँ काम होता है जहाँ लोगों के पैर जमीन पे टिके हुए हों वहाँ तक इसकी अंडरस्टैंडिंग 
लेके आनी चाहिए थैंक यू